Hi everyone. So today I'm starting a new project. All these multiple projects. But I mean, I'm trying to keep uh, the channel a bit varied for you too. So hopefully you're enjoying my, my meanderings as I explore the different books in my library. Uh, so this is a two book series. I don't know if there's a third book yet. I didn't see one when I did a search. Uh, but these are intermediate level nocturnes composed by Dennis Alexander. Dennis is an American composer down in California, I believe. Uh, he is, I mean, his, his resume is, is long. He is a, a composer, a published composer. He's published method books. He's composed wonderful teaching pieces throughout the years obviously as a teacher, is a very popular clinician as well and pedagogue. Wonderful, wonderful pieces. So about the nocturnes, he, there's 14, so eight here and six in here. Um, so intermediate, uh, that's anywhere between grade three and seven. And Dennis composed these, at least the this is what he told us at the, the workshop when he came up. Uh, he wanted to compose some Chopin-esque pieces to teach students, uh, and, but you know, a, an easier level of difficulty technically than Chopin, because anyone who's learned Chopin knows those are technical beats. Oh, this, this also kind of harkens a bit to John Field's Nocturnes as well. So, I mean, both composers uh, compose very lyrical, very cantabile pieces, and this is definitely uh, in the same ilk, I'd say. It's a great first piece to get students experimenting with rubato, so pushing the tempo, pulling the tempo, you know, elastic -y. Tempo you know, in the style of Nocturnes and, and Chopin is slightly arpeggiated. But I love this descending line. This is gorgeous. Dennis was thinking cello, but I'm really feeling the cello there. Uh, yeah, melody is soaring. Uh, and then as far as that lower line, I like highlighting those lower notes just to show the, the, the progression, right? So really pushing it forward a little bit. Uh, B section with the uh, that's very operatic, I'd say. I could really hear a singer doing that, and yeah, that ad lib section there is uh, you can totally play around with. Where do you want to push it? Where do you want to pull it? That's fun. Uh, in the style of other nocturnes and most pieces from the Romantic era, this is an ABA returnary form. Uh, my favorite part's the coda, actually. So starting at bar 33, because you've got, you know, he's reestablished tonic. I try to wind it down, but then we get this D flat major chord. First Nocturne, lovely piece. Um, I hope uh, if you're watching this and you're considering learning it, go for it. Have fun with the really beautiful lines, not just in the melody in the right hand, but also the left hand. And have fun experimenting with the rubato. 
Um, there's a few spots where he doesn't have pedal marked, but I would be tempted to, to play around with some flutter pedal, but um, I can see why he has no pedal there, right? just to have that crisp. Check it out. I'll put a link down below as to where you can grab these books. So this one and this one. And yes, I'll be exploring them every now and again. So uh, every time I need a nocturne fix. So that is it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or useful or entertaining, hit that like button and drop a comment down below. And if you'd like to find out when new content is uploaded, consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. It all helps the channel grow, helps with the YouTube algorithm, and your help is greatly appreciated with that. And finally, if you'd like to support the channel's efforts even more to grow, getting new equipment, bringing you even more interesting content, then consider becoming a Ko-fi supporter. The link to our Ko-fi page is down below. That's it for today. So wherever you're at, have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, night. Take care, and we'll catch you in the next video.